Hi guys, Jamie Sullen, star director with the Cincy family. This is kind of an impromptu video, really haven't prepped for this at all, but I've been getting tons and tons of questions from team members lately about Cincy fundraisers. So I thought I would just share some information, kind of cover all the bases, and hopefully answer quite a few questions all at once. So a lot of the questions I have been getting asked are, what are the types of fundraisers? What is a fundraiser and how do I get them? Basically, how do you get a fundraiser? You talk to everyone you know that has a kid in sports, that has someone in dance, um, possibly civic organizations that you work with, and just let them know that they don't have to run concession stands. They don't have to sell candy bars. They don't have to sell wrapping paper. They can actually be selling a product that their friends and family want to buy, and they can make uh, profit for their group or their organization along the way. You could even do this for a friend that's adopting, someone that's going on a mission trip. You can do a Cincy fundraiser for anyone you want. You make the rules and you dictate who gets the money from these fundraisers. So basically what it is, is you are putting in those orders as uh, you click the fundraiser tab on your workstation as you're putting in the order, but you're putting these orders in just as you would a party order. What I do, the thing is you make the rules, but what I do is I offer them my commission, but I keep all the hostess rewards. So that's personally what I do. You can even dictate how much commission that you give them. And sometimes I will do a sliding scale. I will say anything from you know zero to $999 in sales, I'm gonna give you 20% of the sales. Between 1,000 and $19.99 in sales, I'm gonna give you 25% of your sales. If it's over $2,000, I'm gonna give you 30% of the sales because we know that anytime you sell $2,000 in any given month, that you're gonna get that 5% bonus and be making the 30% uh, base commission off of that. Now remember, if you are lead consultant or higher, you are making additional bonus commission off of this. So you're still making money. Even if you're essential or certified, you are receiving all the hostess rewards that you can sell for full price of these products and be making money that way. So even if you're giving away your commission, you are receiving something in exchange, whether it's a little bump on your commission or free product. Remember, we are in incentive time as well. You're getting extra points for these fundraisers. You are gaining customers, so that's another thing. You are getting your name out to people that might not ever know that you were a consultant before. So lots of perks of doing this. You also get to write off whatever amount that you give that organization on your taxes. It is a donation, so keep all those things in mind. Now, how do you do this? How do you present it to someone and how do you work this? You need to decide what type of fundraiser you want to do. There's several that you can do. You can do just a buddy fundraiser. While it's getting a little tricky to do that because of how they're doing the limited edition buddies, but in the past I would do those. You can do just a scent circle fundraiser where you choose perhaps 20 different fragrances of scent circles and you offer those. How I do a scent circle fundraiser. I am actually selling a six pack of scent circles to their customers for $20 flat. Um, so that is obviously an upcharge from the 15 that it's gonna cost me. What I'm going to do with that is first of all, take the tax money out so we don't have these nickel and dime things. It's just $20 flat. So it's actually gonna cost you know 15 and some change, 15, 80 something, something like that for the six pack of scent circles. So I'm going to give the organization that extra money that's left over plus part of my commission. How I do scent circle fundraisers is for every six pack they sell, they get $7 back to their organization. So I'm making a little bit, they're making quite a bit. So that's turning a great profit for that organization. Uh, if you are on my team, on our Facebook group, I have uploaded the file for an order form and the presentation letter for the organization. So buddy fundraiser, scent circle fundraisers, you can do a full catalog fundraiser if you want to. You can either use the regular catalog or use the showcase brochures. That's totally up to you. So the thing is with 
fundraisers, you make the rules. You make this work for you. You make it work for the organization. Do what is easiest and what is best for everyone. How do you present it to the group? First of all, you need to decide what type you're going to do. And then I would just type up a general letter, kind of laying out um, the frequently asked questions of what they might ask. How much are they going to make? Do they need to collect the money up front? When is it delivered? How is it delivered? Um, when will they get their check? So I don't pay out until the 10th of the next month whenever I do a fundraiser. That way I don't pay them until I get my commission because I don't have the money to pay them until I get my commission. So you need to have a letter that states all of that for the organization. Then I'm going to make up whatever order form I'm using. If it's a full catalog, I'll just give them one of my order forms. If it's the scent circle, I'm going to make up the order form sheet. I'm going to make up one envelope for a participant and present that to the organization. So I'm going to have all that ready. I'm going to take a scent circle for them to try out if that's the fundraiser that I'm doing. So give them all those things. Um, Ask them what they're looking to make. How much are they looking to make? Because that'll kind of dictate what type of fundraiser you do. What exactly are their needs? And you need to cater the fundraiser to whatever their needs are. So hopefully I've answered some of the basic questions of fundraisers. If you have further questions, feel free to contact your sponsor or myself with those specific questions and we can give you a little more information. Other than that, hope you have a sensational week.